we have all these platforms, all these channels through which we can connect with one another, but instead of feeling closer to one another, it seems like we're more distant than we've ever been. And so the challenge to me is how can I find the humanity in that? How can I help create the humanity in a environment that feels so curated and so cultivated, a place that has stopped being so vulnerable out of fear and shame um, because we live in a society that has kind of made it that way throughout time. How can I provide a genuine voice for these stories and these people and it be received for what it's meant to be? My name is Damian Gonzalez. I am the digital storyteller from Park University. Growing up, um, I was always kind of a creative kid. Uh, I wasn't the one. I had to be the overachiever, you know. Never drew stick figures. Always drew in detail. But that's just how my brain worked. And I was always so fascinated by the TV shows I watched growing up, um, specifically Dragon Ball. I would watch the shows, but I would uh, I remembered always recording them on a VHS and later going back to them and pausing at very specific parts of the show and just drawing frame by frame, just drawing it out. And I did that for a while. And as I grew older, I just got better and better at drawing. And eventually I moved from drawing to I liked music to I liked photography and I liked video. And it was just, it was just an, it was a normal thing for me, so I never thought much of it. I just thought this is what I do. I mean, my dad had drawings that I would refer to growing up, so it, I just felt like it was like, oh, well, if he did it, well, I guess it makes sense that I can do it too. I didn't think it could actually result in a career. So I, I went to Pitt State uh, University for my undergrad, was uh, part of the Guerrillas Activities Board and I, as a general member, they gave me the opportunity to fly out to Boston my, my first year with them uh, to the NACA convention. During that time, uh, I got the opportunity to spearhead social media while we were there. And for some reason, out of all the years that I've done what I do, that was the moment that it clicked for me. That was the moment to where I, to where I felt that I could do something with my creativity, but I didn't know what it would mean to do what I do. And surely enough for two and a half years, I did not until finally I feel like it made sense. And I started to understand, oh, this is why I'm at Park. This is what I can provide at Park. And it's just constantly striving to do that day in and day out.